So we spent two days here on the end of the Ashby Canal near Snareston. We turned around in the winding hole that you see there behind and uh, we're just going to pootle along at our normal rate back down to Marston Junction on the Coventry Canal. On the way we'll be visiting the Steam Railway and also the Bosworth Battlefield site. So plenty to see and do. Uh, so come along with us and we'll see you there. Here we are at Snareston Wharf and these are the original beams for the water pumping house that is now behind that hedge that was used in the 19th century to pump water all the way to Hinkley. This is the Ashby Canal Association Information Centre at Snaresden Wharf. This is the shop inside the Information Centre selling all manner of things to raise money for the restoration project. Fabulous. I think Fran's found a copper kettle for herself. Fran's having a good old rummage around. Remind you of the jumble sale days, Fran. I have. What happened to jumble sales? You don't get those anymore. They turned into car boot sales. Yeah. Well, they got so much stuff in here to buy. DVDs, CDs, crockery, plates, knives and forks, everything. Even a piston over there for some reason. So uh, we're going to buy this copper pot and uh, a few anchor pins for the boat and get on our way.
first bluebells of the year. Really early. Usually a late April, May flowering plant, but beautiful nonetheless. I better hot foot it, I've got a boat to catch at that bridge. What are you doing, Rich? I am banging and a crashing and getting rid of these old tiles off here so we can fit the new ones. What looked like that. Nice. So this is going to be a right mess to start off with because that extends the limit of our work surface. There used to be a uh, screen there, shelf screen, didn't there? They did, yeah. Um, before yeah. we bought the boat and that was taken off, unfortunately. So we've got this to contend with and then I've got this board here. And so then that's going to need lean to more repair work yeah. along here, yeah. I guess, isn't it? This is going to need to be so extended and one job always leads to ten more, doesn't I it? I know. It's never straightforward, is it? But if you look outside, it's um, a windy, a little bit rainy day, so um, it's not all bad, is it? Well, I'm glad it's not a sunshiny cruising day, that's for sure. Well, it wouldn't be happening. Well, we wouldn't be doing this, would <laughs> There's it? no way this would be happening <laughs> on the sunshiny cruisy day, is there? So, right, well, good luck with that. I'm taking the doggies for a walk because they're going to get stressed. going Fran. <laughs> Today is floating our boats day out. <laughs> a day out from floating our boat. We're going um, on the steam train and I think I think it's the first time in my life I've ever been on a steam train. I managed to get behind the engine of a diesel train once with my dad and uh, pull various levers which would never be allowed nowadays but uh, I don't think I've ever been on a steam train so ah. This is what we're doing with our doggies. Got paid two pound each for the doggies to go, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be fun. We're going to go up to the end of the line at uh, Snaresden, is it? Snaresden? Snaresden, yeah. Back to Market Bosworth. And we're going to go in the town, get a bit of shopping, have a beer. And then uh, back down to here at Shackleston. So I think it's uh, £12 each a ticket, and that's just for the day. So you can go up and down. There's only three stops, I think, yeah. on the on the line, but you can just go up and down. And uh, the station at the end, we had a quick look at the other day, and there's a museum and a shop and a cafe, and it's completely decked out in old, as it would have been, isn't it? Yeah. It's really lovely. So, yeah, treating ourselves to a day out. So aside from that, Fran, uh, what happened this morning? <laughs> well, it was quite a fortunate start because <laughs> Rich was feeling a bit poorly and I got up and I revoked Article 50 of Constanza, which stated last video that we weren't going to have the fire on anymore in the morning. <laughs> and I made an executive decision to get the boat warm for him because he was feeling a bit poorly. So I lit the fire. Sword threat. Then, um, half past eight, let the dogs out and they probably gave a, laid a little deposit right in the middle of the towpath. So I tried to get off carefully in my pyjamas and slippers to pick up the poo and the slippers turned out to be true to their name <laughs> and I slipped in. <laughs> Yelled for Rich but he couldn't hear me. Honestly I um, couldn't hear her. And I don't know, I was out again before I even knew I'd fallen in. It's amazing how quickly you managed to get out. Um, so yeah, no harm done, a few bruises and uh, You're all right, aren't muddy pyjamas, muddy slippers, I'm fine. Feels so a little bit, uh, sorry. That's one all then? Yeah, 
Yeah, but you didn't actually fall off the boat, no. Do something it's so stupid as I did, but I feel a little bit relieved that it's sort of out of the way now. And also it wasn't a couple of weeks ago when it was icy. <laughs> so we've uh, I've ripped the tiles off the wall in the in the galley on the boat. So we've got to go to B and Q in Hinkley tomorrow. Uh, just get but a hey. few odds and sods <laughs> just to get us going and then uh, hopefully Monday, Tuesday we'll be back on it. Yeah, we're still sticking by our words that we're not leaving the canal. Till the saloon Until and the kitchen done. is done. done. Galley. It was anyway. funny yesterday, wasn't it? A boat went past us. Didn't mention our names or anything. And they just called out, have you done your work yet? <laughs> <laughs> done your job, you promised. <laughs> So yeah, whoever that was, we're still on it. I must say hello as well to uh, <coughs> Steve and Sarah, who uh, oh, yes. hired a boat on the Ashby last weekend. Steve's birthday. Yeah, for a week I think they had it, didn't they? Yeah. So uh, weekend, yeah, yeah, happy belated birthday and uh, pleased to meet you. It was lovely. And your kids, Charlotte, I think one of them's called. The other two teenagers were a bit conspicuous by their absence, weren't they? <laughs> so yeah. Nice to meet you. So look up, look forward to some uh, lovely steam footage hopefully now. Looks like we're going first class. We could have walked through the buffet. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Many a murder's been done on this train, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, come on then, we're going to go in. Okay! Friend. Well, we've got to Shackerston, which is the end of the line, and the plan was then to go back and get off the train at Market Bosworth, which is midway between Shackerston and Shenton, where we started off. Unfortunately, when we got here, we found out that the train doesn't stop at Market Bosworth at the moment because there's no footway across the railway line, and nobody had told us this. So we had a nice word with the I don't know, conductor, signalman, whoever that was here. And they've kindly agreed to stop the train, especially for us at Market Bosworth, and then stop again a couple of hours later to pick us up and escort us across the railway tracks. <laughs> so, um, regardless very nice of too. <laughs> Regardless of elf and safety. Yes, yeah, so there are, is some common sense in the world. So we've got our own request yeah. stop. Yes, just for us. Uh, very exciting. <laughs> there goes the train that stops just for the two of us to get off so we can do some shopping and have a, a beer in Market Buzzworth. Woo -woo. <laughs> Excellent, and I've got to be escorted across the tracks because uh, we can't be trusted. And, uh, I don't know that we've got to the other side safely. 
without breaking a leg. So yeah, it's all very exciting, isn't it, Fran? It's too exciting. It's too big a day. I think I'll be going to bed at eight o'clock tonight. It's best day of your life, isn't it? No, darling, the day I met you was the best day of my life. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> How fantastic is that? There she comes, our very own request stop. <laughs> we're stopping the train just to pick us two up after a lovely lunch. He waved at me, the driver waved at me. Did he? <laughs> this point ride's nice. Giving up Arch, the elusive duck, that told him. Mm -hmm. 